Good morning everybody, I'm Steve and welcome to Green Side Up. Got something a little bit different for you today and here's a face you might recognise. Hello everybody, my name is Tony Smith and a big thank you to Steve for letting me come on his channel and bumble around uh, <laughs> to probably destroy everything. But I've been chatting on with Steve and we've decided to do a little challenge between ourselves, you know what I mean, the kind of young pretender and the grandmaster, guess who? Guess which one I am? And we've both got polytunnels and we're both on the same, you know, same path. We're, Steve's over there in Cumbria and I'm the northeast of England and we're going to try and grow some carrots in our polytunnel for winter. Can it be done? I don't know. There's a little challenge on. So what I'm going to do, I've planted some already and if you want to pop over to my channel, Tony C. Smith, and have a look at that. But we're going to do the Parisian. So just follow me and i'll show you where i'm gonna because i haven't got that much area because i'm still all in whole 100 percent tomato mode at the moment but i have got my royal chantonier down there i've got four rows in there so hopefully they'll tick off and what i'm going to do now is plant these ones these parisians should i say in in this little row at the back there now I was mentioned on my channel, the only thing I've got going for me now is that the sea is just over there about a quarter of a mile. So that means my temperatures are a little bit different to Steve's. When it's cold here, it's Baltic in Cumbria. So that's the one saving grace that this young pretender might get away with and, and win this competition. Let's try. So I've already dampened the ground and I just need to dig a little trough so I can plant the seeds. And I'm just gonna do one long row up here and I can get in this way and hopefully water okay so there we go Parisian the 6th of August let this young pretender see if he can pull off a miracle <laughs> so big thank you to Steve letting us come over to his channel and bum bumble along if you want to pop over to mine Tony C Smith on YouTube and Please do this, get the, the, the seeds and see if you can grow some, some carrots for the Christmas. That would just be fantastic. Thank you, Steve. Look after yourselves. Thanks, Tony. Hello, everyone. Um, Tony and I have been talking by email for a little while about winter crops and we've decided to do not so much a challenge, but a bit of a grow off, if you like. And we're going to be using carrots and lettuce because these are things that are good for winter growing. We're slightly late on the carrots, but I think they should do okay in the polytunnel because uh, both of them are around a 60, 65 day crop. And I think we'll be aiming to pull carrots, um, I would say just before Christmas. And we'll do a comparison then and, and see, see how we've done and the lettuce will just grow through the season both outside and inside so we'll get on with that right now i'm sowing carrots in this bed here and in this bed here and in these two old giant water tanks behind me tomatoes and brassicas the carrots that we've chosen are both stump rooted types both quick to harvest date, about 60, 65 days. And the first one is this Royal Chantonet. Nice little stump rooted type, great for putting straight into casseroles. And I'm just gonna palm sew these into to this drill. The second variety is Parisienne. And again, it's a stump rooted, but it's, it's in the shape of a little ball. Never grown them, so I'm gonna give them a try this year. And carrots prefer a soil where the nitrogen has been used up in it because they don't need that, they need uh, phosphorus really. So a soil that's sort of grown, brassicas in it, it's perfect. As this bed has up this year. Again, these are the Royal Chantonet. And as I was saying earlier, you really need soil that has been used for root crops. Uh, and that will take out a good portion of the nitrogen that's in there. If the soil has been overused, you can add, if you wish, some bone meal or some um, superphosphate. 
and that will just power the roots on. Well, things like chicken manure pellets, stay away from them. Fresh manure. And there's an old wives tale that you can't grow carrots in manure. Well, you can, because I've done it. I did it a few years ago because somebody told me you can't, so I thought, well, I'll give it a go, and it worked. And I noticed no difference in the forking, because they say they fork, don't grow right. They grew all right for me. But ideally, you don't really want to use manure and then plant carrot in it because it's got a high level of nitrogen and that will just give you bushy growth at the expense of no root and, and it's the root that you want. So that's that bed done. Right, so I'm going to get these tanks done now. This one, carrot Parisienne. And I've just fingertip tapped some drills in and I'll palm sew into these as well. As thin really as you can because at the end of the day when the carrots are growing you, you want three or four inches, the carrots three or four inches apart. Now probably about a quarter of what I'm sowing here will germinate so that will leave me less to thin down when they start growing. So that's it, that's as easy as that gets really. Just cover them over, I water it when I water the rest of the beds and that's that one done. And here is the lettuce that we're growing. Um, the first one is new to me, Marvel of Four Seasons. The next one, Winter Density, then Freckles, then Oak Leaf Navara and Intred. As they germinate and, and grow to seedlings, I'll pot them on and then eventually plant them out and they'll go outside and inside as well. Um, and that's it really. Oh, I am missing one variety called the maize. That's on order. It should be here soon. What I really like about these lettuce varieties is that they grow really well over, over the winter period in the polytunnel. And so I do grow others as well and other leafy greens. I mean, I'm going to be putting some spinach in today as well. Um, I've got plenty of mustards and greens and stuff here and cabbages. And I've got kales, you name it. I've got, I've got tons and tons of stuff. Uh, but I want every, every space under cover filled and that way I'm not wasting, not wasting ground and ensuring I've got a crop. Winters can be a bit funny, you can suddenly get a hard frost and it can kill, it can kill things off, even the hardy stuff. So always got to have a backup plan, always have more stuff ready to go in to replace stuff that's dead or have enough stuff so that if, you, if it dies um, you've got replacements or you've got enough. If you've got too much, give it away to a neighbour, you feel brilliant. But that's the way I do things and, and my preference. And these lettuce leaves in particular, I really like them because you can pick from the ground up, pick leaf by leaf as it grows, and you'll get 10, 12 weeks harvest out of it. And it's much better than waiting 10, 12 weeks for a head to form and taking the whole thing home. Um, you've got a constant and continuous supply through that 10-12 weeks and, and that is stunning. And later on in the season, November, December, I will sow more so that hopefully, weather permitting, conditions allowing, January, February, right the way through, all the way through and right into next summer, I'll have lettuce. That's, that's what I like. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. That way, the next time you log into YouTube, you'll see any of my latest content. It'll be on your feed somewhere. So it just gives you a head up that's something there. So subscribe if you can, please. That would be fantastic. And don't forget also to go over to Tony C's page and have a look at his videos and subscribe over there too. I'll leave a link in the description to this video. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this. It's been a little bit different. Um, we've got some carrots sown and some lettuce and I've also done some spinach off camera as well and uh, a little bit of messing around. So really pleased with today's. I hope you've enjoyed it. Stay safe everyone and I'll see you on the next one.